Hey everyone, welcome to Winter Propagation Part 2. In September last year, we had a little trip up north. I actually ended up grabbing a ton of uh, cones, conifer cones, pine cones, whatever, from the campsite for seeds so that I could grow some more conifers around our property and just try, try growing some pine trees and spruce or whatever else is in there. I did collect all the seeds, or sorry, the cones, while they were closed and then I just put them all in, in a south facing window and they've all opened up. I'm gonna try winter sowing them and I'm just gonna put them all into one container and hopefully some grow because most evergreens and conifers have a really low germination rate to begin with. So we'll see what happens. We are ready to start my next batch of winter sowing. I showed in my last video how to prepare the containers but I'll show you again real quick. Just using some old jugs. I'm gonna cut a bunch of holes in the bottom. I'm just using an X-Acto. Uh, the only thing, I wanna make sure there's enough drainage, so I'll give it a little twist. Do at least four holes. And then on the handle side, about halfway up the main part, not counting like the spout, I'm just gonna start a cut. Slow, don't cut towards yourself like I am. So I'm stopping a little short, so we have a hinge. I only have four jugs, which sucks, because I had like about a hundred. But, they don't have to do for now. As I find them, I'll add more until it gets too late, which I don't really know when that is, but. I noticed uh, the last few times I've got gas. Since it's winter, people are uh, leaving a lot of windshield fluid bottles out, so that's where I got two of these. I'm just gonna rip the label off that one, throw it over there. You can see every time the knife goes too fast, my COVID belly goes. And then this big one. So I'm gonna use this for all the, the pine cones, sorry, cones I collected, because we don't know if they're pine or not. There's a lot of cones, conifer. Uh, found at a gas station. Diesel exhaust fluid. It says right on the molding, do not reuse this container. But I'm not growing food, I'm just gonna try and grow some trees, so. I'm gonna use it. Also, it says it contains urea, which I know from previous jobs is an active ingredient in certain hand creams. But, like everything, oh, this one's thicker. Holy shit. Anyway, like I was saying, like everything, it's the dosage that makes the poison. Even water's poisonous if you have enough. Spot. I forgot to do the bottom holes first. Okay, before I cut anymore, while it's still a bit rigid, let's get those bottom holes in. Oh yeah, we're still good. Because if you cut it in half fully before uh, you do the bottom holes, then the whole thing is like Blade. Who would have thought I should probably wear safety glasses while doing this? Maybe that didn't flay up in my eye. Uh... Okay, give me a minute. Pause! Okay. And now look, I'm keeping it on a flat surface and cutting away from myself. Okay, this next step, I forgot to tell you in my first video, I didn't pre-moisten the soil, which I really should have done. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab a batch of soil, add some water, and mix it together. That's not even close to enough. Now it's probably too much. Okay, so you want enough water 
that basically you squeeze it and it holds its shape, but it's not dripping. Like this is still dripping, but I need to mix it. See, hold its shape. It's not like wringing out a, a dish towel. So that's perfect, okay. I'm just gonna rinse my hands and get this out of the way. Okay, actually, stupid. I'm gonna fill these up before I rinse my hands. Oh, that's like a full stick. And now the big end. Okay, I'm gonna do this one first. The uh, oh, pine cone seeds or whatever I collected. Uh, I'm just gonna rinse my hands, be right back. So here's all the pine cones again. And there's my little winter sewing container. So I'm just gonna take the pine cones and kind of uh, just kind of crunch them over the top of this and hopefully any seeds that are in there fall out. Yeah, like I can see some. And I'm just gonna do this for all of them over the surface. And then I'm gonna shake this whole tray that they were in into this. Ooh, a seed, that's nice. Kind of just, you know, brush it backwards. Why do dogs hate being brushed backwards? It's kind of funny. Just saying. It's really hard to tell if there are any seeds coming out of this. They might have already dropped out. But I'm pretty sure almost all the cones that I collected were closed and I got them closed on purpose so that the seeds would still be in them. There's definitely a few different types here. You know what, I'm just gonna crunch them. Whatever falls out, falls out. Probably helpful, if anything, to have these little chunky things protecting them. This is actually quite a lot. That's all right. Ooh, this one's neat. Probably doesn't have any seeds in it. Oh, it does! Well, hello, little guy. Come on out. Ah. Oh, there's like a few. I don't know, I think I smashed it. I don't know. Okay. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, these ones are neat. Yeah. See. Come here. Oh. There's definitely seeds. I just don't know if I'm getting them out. Like they're in the core, wedged in there. I can't get them. Like I can see the tails, just like a maple key. But I'm not seeing a seed head. Come on, open. Ah, there it is. Wow. Oh, it flung away. There it is. I got one. It's like a little mini maple key. And they're all tucked up inside these cones. It's so cool. Nature is neat as hell. All right, so we're just gonna destroy this guy. Okay, I don't think I'm actually gonna do all of them because this is a lot. Uh, and like, if it is successful, that's like a lot, a lot. But I definitely want some. All right. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to, like see there's still tons. I'm just gonna take all the like big full pine cones out and then I'm gonna dump this whole tray in. There's definitely seeds there. Like I actually saw a ton. All right, put all these back in the tray. Oh my god, and they dropped seeds everywhere. <laughs> That's awesome. Here, check it out. Oh, come on, you piece of crap camera. Still there? Check this out. I don't know if you can see. 
All those seeds. Yay! So there's definitely seeds there for sure. I'm just gonna like scrape them into my hand and uh, dump them in. Oh yeah, now they're freaking everywhere. That's funny. Okay, put them in. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this up a little. I'm gonna sprinkle a tiny bit of uh, soil over top of this and then water them in. Just a really light sprinkle. I don't know if they need light to germinate. Probably not, because they're big. It tends to be really tiny seeds that need light to germinate. So in light of that, uh, no pun intended, I'm also going to add a little sprinkle, a light layer of vermiculite on top, especially because I really want some of these evergreens to grow. That'd be great. Supposedly it works really good. According to the gardening experts and I listen to the experts. Okay, just gonna duct tape this guy shut and then move on to some actual seed. Let's see, hopefully it works. I have no idea if this uh, winter sowing method will work for conifer seeds, but we will see. Did you know scotch tape gives off x-rays as you pull it? They've actually developed an x-ray of a thumb from someone pulling scotch tape. Isn't that crazy? Okay, next. So I'm gonna be doing Golden Jubilee, Ag Golden Jubilee Agastache, which is a compact lavender purple fragrant fragrant flower spikes make a nice contrast to blah 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 plants grow 20 inches tall and 12 inches wide perennial winter hardy to zone five uh light aids germination so and then i've got tango agastache this one gets a bit taller tall plants with handsome scented gray green foliage and then i'm also going to do panorama red bee balm uh, i love the smell of bee balm and this one's mildew resistant, grows to three feet tall, full sun part shade, blah, blah, blah. Winter hardy zone three. So we're gonna try all these three. I'm gonna write everything down beforehand. Panorama. Bebop. Once again, I'm just gonna write my number instead of the, what the plant is all over the container. I still haven't got any kind of garden marker or UV, UV resistant Sharpie or uh, there's also livestock tag markers which also work apparently. Uh, I still haven't got around to getting them. Also who wants to spend like five bucks on one marker? It's kind of crazy. In case you can't tell I like to do things on a budget. Oh actually I will be doing one other thing. We'll get there. For these ones, I'm not gonna do the vermiculite. I just, that's nice. Oh, cool. Can you please let go of me and the container? Oh, that's, oh, that's great. Cool. Jesus, gross. Oh, now my hands are sticky. Damn it. All right, I just got them lined up here. Oh my God nothing worse than sticky fingers. If it needs light for germination, you basically don't want to bury it. So I'm going to attempt to try and keep these all separated. I want to do, let's see, maybe three and then four and then three, but like this is probably not going to work at all. They're just going to do what they want. Oh, one, four, oops. Okay, I'm doing five in the middle. Oh, and then one somewhere. That wasn't bad. Like I didn't drop them all into one spot, so that's good. I call that success. So the seeds are sprinkled in there. I'm just gonna kind of like lightly go like this, just to hopefully, you know, they grab some of the moisture and then stick, and then hopefully they're not on me. We're good. Same thing.
Okay, for this one, I'm gonna try something else. So I have some Sagina seeds. I don't know how you pronounce it. Which I want to use uh, to grow. It's, I think, otherwise known as Irish moss or pearl wart. And I want to use it to grow out between flagstones in like a pathway, you know, having like that low ground cover moss. So that's the idea. I want to try and do that. And I'm going to try winter sowing, but a little bit differently. So I'm just filling up some of these containers, pretty half inch. So I've got these uh, little, little pots. Yeah, these are three and a half inch pots. Uh, what I found is really cool is these little cups you get from the dollar store, little drink cups, plastic, actually fit in here perfectly. And some even like snap in. So they're perfect for little greenhouses. Let me show you on one that works. Boom, snaps in. So I'm gonna try winter sowing this way. To basically make into individual little plant pots. Uh, with this Sagina stuff. Oh, Subulata. I didn't know it had the full name on there. Anyway, I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna try winter sowing these in their own individual little greenhouses, but same thing as usual. I'm gonna have to, in this case, cut holes in the top because it needs to rain inside these. Easier said than done. I don't want to crush it and stab myself. Oh my god, these are the smallest ones I've seen so far. I think I might actually go back with a wood burner and uh, or a soldering iron and just melt holes in the top of all of these, just to make sure. Anyway, so all of these are just gonna go outside in full sun and not protected but from any weather. All right, hopefully this works. So I got two experiments going. We got the three experiments going, the evergreen, the conifer winter sowing and then this uh, Irish moss winter sowing and hopefully they work. I will definitely do an update, update video in the spring with what's going and what's not and let you know. Okay, bye.